Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, and on today's episode, I'm sharing with you 15 resistance band exercises specifically for swimmers. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my swim pro where we share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health in and out of the water. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, now let's get right into it. In this video, we're specifically talking about the Elite Athlete Resistance Bands. And for you guys, special shout out, if you use the promo code linked in the description, you're gonna get 20% off these awesome resistance bands. And if you haven't already checked out the unboxing video that I did, check it out linked in the description. I give a full overview of what you get, how the resistance bands work, and how you can put them to work for you to improve your performance. Now let's talk about the different exercises. So I have numbers one through five on this side, but don't think that they're coordinated in any way, shape, or form by number. The first one I wanna talk about is the W pulls. This is a great exercise. You're gonna have the resistance bands and you're actually gonna pull your shoulders back towards the, toward, your elbows are back towards your back. And then you're gonna lift your hands up and you're gonna make a W shape. This is great you know, for the rotator cuff, shoulder stabilizers, all of that's super important. Number two is the band core rotation. So you're gonna have your arms straight with the resistance bands again, and you're actually gonna rotate your body side to side, keeping your arms as straight as possible, parallel to the ground, really working on stability and your entire core is getting that good rotation. The third is the scapula pull down. Now you don't actually have to hold the resistance bands in the handles, you can actually grab the bands themselves and that allows you to really modify where you feel the resistance. So when you do the scapula pull down, you're actually keeping your arms relatively straight and you're using your back muscles to pull your arms down rather than you know doing a curl and pulling your arms in a curl motion. You're gonna hold that for three seconds and then you're gonna release. And that hold really focuses on that stabilizer component. Again, these are all swimming specific movements. The fourth is the side step squat. Now this is with the minivan. So you're actually gonna put the minivan just above your kneecap. If you have shorts on, it's best to go on your actual skin. That way it doesn't move around. Um, and so when you do that, you're actually able to have good squat technique because when you squat, you don't want your knees to buckle in. So have a nice wide squat, keep your knees stable through the duration of that movement. And the fifth is the alternating Superman. This is also with the mini band. This one looks really complicated. It really isn't that hard. You put the mini band at your foot and then you have the other one around your knee and you're actually gonna focus on one leg and you're gonna repeat kind of like doing this without the mini band, but the mini band adds a lot of resistance for that glute. And when you push out, it really benefits you. You build that strength and it's almost like you're doing a flutter kick or a dolphin cake you're hitting the same muscles and you get the stability through your core now the next series of exercises these are number six through 15 again don't worry about the numbers they're not in any order uh, particularly so the chest press with your staggered legs so you're actually this is kind of like a bench press but you're using your core to stabilize because you're standing with a staggered leg position again you can increase the resistance on this you know so if you're used to you know benching 50 kilos 60 kilos 100 kilos in the weight room you're definitely gonna to wanna to use a higher resistance elasticity. Those are the darker colors. If you're doing band squat, same thing. You're gonna put, it's kinda of like you're doing a front squat. You know, if you're, if you're used to doing 100 or 200 kilos, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have the thickest elasticity. If you're, if you're new to doing squats, you know, this is gonna be fantastic at any resistance level, just to have anything a little bit more than your body weight. The next one is the double arm row. This is a great one. You're gonna be in actually in a squatted position, so you're engaging your core and your legs, and you're gonna pull back. Great for breaststroke, really any pulling motion because you're building that back muscle strength. Then we have the balance taps. This is either with the resistance band or with the mini band, and you're gonna put the mini band or the resistance band at your ankles, and you're gonna focus on balancing, and you're gonna tap your foot front to back or laterally, and this is a great way to work the hip mobility. So if you're a breaststroker, or any of the strokes really, you're gonna really benefit from that. Then we have the hip bridge. I love this one. You're gonna have the mini band as well on this one. And you're gonna basically have your heels on the ground. You're gonna have your shoulder blades back and you're gonna lift and bridge your hips up so that way you're straight line from your knees all the way to your shoulders. And at the top, you're actually gonna push your knees out away from each other. So you're really gonna activate your glutes on the way up and then the outside of your hip, really hit that IT band on the, on the top of that movement. Then we're gonna move into the fire hydrant. Fire hydrant's great for breaststrokers and specifically, you're gonna be on all fours, your hands and your knees, and you're gonna have the band around your, just above your kneecap, and you're gonna push your hips out, well, one hip at a time, and you're gonna push it out, and you're really gonna feel that on the outside of your hip. You're definitely gonna feel this one. It's great for breaststroke. Then we have the swim pull. This is probably the most generic movement you've probably seen with a resistance band, especially for swimmers. You can have the band at, you know, at parallel to the, to the ground, or it can be a little bit higher. 
The goal here is to mimic the swimming pull. This is hitting your lats, your core engagement. And the alternating version of that is the alternating swim pull. So you're gonna go one arm at a time. And that's a huge benefit of having these resistance bands uh, because you can actually have independent resistance, whereas a lot of other ones, you're actually gonna have the same elasticity on both arms. So by having a different band for each arm with the elite athlete bands, you actually get a huge benefit from that. You also have internal and external rotations. These are fantastic. Shoulder health, really important. You should be doing these two or three times per week, alternating every time you do an exercise actually out of the water. For swimmers, I highly recommend some variation of internal and external rotations. For the rotator cuff, remember, try and keep your elbow in. The resistance level on these should be relatively low. You're not focusing on building strength necessarily, or definitely not power, it's definitely more about strength and not agility because you're trying to build strength over time. Remember, progression. So rather than doing the max resistance on an internal or external rotation, or even the scapula movements, it's really important that you get the right technique, get the right fundamentals, and do it well over and over and over because that consistency over time is how you're gonna improve and how you're gonna prevent injury. I hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about the 15 different resistance band exercises Check out in the link in the description below the Elite Athlete Bands. If you guys want to purchase them, they gave us a huge shout out. 20% off in the description below. If you haven't already seen the different MySwimPro training plans, they're amazing. Check them out in the MySwimPro app. If you've made it this far in the video, really appreciate it. Make sure you give the video a big like. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. Finally, I wanna give a shout out to a few of the different training programs that we have in the My Swim Pro app. If you're wondering what is a training program, why does it matter, why should I do it? Whether you're doing a training program for swimming or for dry land, it's important because you're gonna build progression. We talked about it. You're gonna build your duration. You're gonna have longer workouts. More intensity develops over time and the complexity. And if you just do these exercises over and over, surely that can definitely give you a benefit, but you're gonna plateau and you're not gonna improve as quickly as if you had a structured training program. So in the My Swim Pro app, if we're talking about dry land specifically, the theme of this video, we have some different training programs. One of them is swimmer strength. It develops you over an eight week period of time, a few workouts per week. You build the progression, you have a dynamic warm up, and you have the solid work in the middle, and you have a static cool down. It's all automated for you in the app. There's different training programs for beginners, intermediates, and advanced. And of course, if you have no equipment or equipment you do have, you can definitely find a training program that's right for you. So make sure you check it out, link in the description below. And if you're interested in buying resistance bands, I highly recommend the Elite Athlete Bands. Check them out, 20% off promo code. I believe it expires soon. So depending on when you're watching this video, make sure you take action, get the bands that are right for you. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. As always, stay safe and happy training.